Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Phoebe, if you are new here. If you've been here, thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for supporting me. If you have not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Turn on your bell notifications because around here, we want to stay on top of every drop. Anyway, today we are going to be doing a beautiful Valentine's Day look. I don't have a man, but guess what? I'm going to be cute for Valentine's Day. So, anyway, I want to share with you all a look that I tried over the weekend last week and absolutely loved. And I was like, you know what? I need to recreate this. I'm going to be using the Vanessa um, and Juvia palette. If you guys don't know Vanessa Gima, she did a collaboration with Juvia's Place and she released a palette, some lip gloss. I was not able to get the lip gloss, but I did get her palette, as you may have saw in my last video. The colors in here are too beautiful to use just once. So again, I'm going to be using just this palette to achieve today's look. If you are interested in seeing what it is that I do, stick around. All right, to get started, I am just going to prime my eyes. I am still using that primer that I got from Amazon. It's not that bad. I'm just going to put it all over my eyelids. Alright, using my Sonia Kashuk tapered crease brush, I'm going to go in with BSG, that is Brown Skin Girl. And I'm going to put this right in my crease. And as always, you want to start off with a little amount and build it up. You never want to pack the color in there. So as I am applying this color to my crease, I'm also um, dragging it outside into my V right here, my outer V. And that is because I'm going to be doing a half, <laughs> I think, cut crease is what you call it. I don't know. But I am just pulling it and creating a V right here. All right, I pulled out, I always do this, but I pulled out my Morphe 35O palette because I needed a deeper brown color. So I went in with this color right here and I'm just putting it in my outer V and that is just to give me a bit more depth. Um, but I won't be using any of the palettes. <laughs> I just needed it to be a little um, smokier. That's why I pulled this out. All right, next I'm going to go in with this blending brush from Morphe. There's no number. I got it from a pack of brushes like I mentioned in a previous video, but I know it is a fluffy blending brush. I'm going to take the color Stush and Busy, and I'm just going to blend out um, the first brown that I put down right by my brow bone. I'm just going to blend everything out so that I don't have any harsh lines. And again, I'm mixing both colors. All right, going in with my same concealer, I am just going to do a half cut crease and I am going to use this, uh, I think this is a flat brush from the pack that I got. Yes, this is a flat brush. So I'm just going to use this flat brush to apply this primer to cut my crease. Pray for me. All right, you guys, going in with my Sigma eye shading brush. Should I really use this? I just want to pack the color in my eyes, so I'm not going to use this. I'm going to go in with my Sonia Kashuk medium eyeshadow brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up this pink color and apply it everywhere that I put this um, eye primer. Try to stay in the line. You don't want to go outside the crease, outside the cut crease. I'm actually going to go in with a um, thinner brush. 
so I can really get the color as close as I want. So I just picked up this BH Cosmetics brush. It does not have a name or number. All right, you guys, I'm going to go in with BSG and I'm just going to apply this, apply a little bit over the corner of this pink color just to make sure there's no harshness and everything is blended out. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and apply some glitter because this is looking a little too plain. So I'm going to put Perfectionist on my lid, but only where I have the pink. And I'm going to be extra careful because I want to keep the crease as cut and sharp as I have it. You can't really see it right now, but it's there. All right, you guys, going in with the darkest color that I started with, I am going to get to work on my lower lash line. So I'm starting with BSG, and I'm using, again, another Morphe brush with no name, but I believe this is the smudge brush. No. Okay, I don't know. I can't. Okay, there's no name. I'm sorry. After BSG, I'm going to go in with a bit of Stush, that orangey color. And that's just a blend out BSG. And then I'm going to take a bit of Busy and just go over all of that. All right, you guys, I applied a little bit of the pink. The name of the pink is Akua. I apply it a little bit right underneath my lash line and then I'm just smudging it out. And now I'm gonna go in with a bit of perfectionist and I'm just gonna put this in my inner tear duct. Using the same brush, you do not have the dirty brushes. All right, going in with my Huda Beauty um, lip liner, I'm going to use the pencil liner to line my inner water line. This thing is so dope. It's like two in one, like you ain't gotta stress yourself. Next up, I'm going to do a wing liner using the other end of this 
pretty amazing. I was pulling it, so it's a twisted, but wing liner. This is my Avon mascara. I love this mascara. It's, it's not something you can find in the stores, but it's never failed me. Lipstick, I'm going to be using my Cola liner from Juvia's Place. I'm gonna use my Revlon lipstick and pick me up. I'm putting it right in the center. All right, you guys, we are going to set our face with my favorite setting spray. The Milani make it Milani make it last. And then we're just gonna press it in. All right, you guys, so this is the final look. What you can do is if you don't want to keep your lips matte, you can actually put a lip gloss over it, and I may just do that. All right, you guys, first I want to say there is a bit of noise in the background. Please ignore that. My father is having a concert upstairs. Um, but anyway, this is the final look. I decided to go for a glossy lip. So I combined the Revlon Pick Me Up lipstick with the Fenty Glow Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. Um, but yes, I combined these two for this lip and I'm actually happy about how it turned out. It's not really pink and it's not really orange. It's giving me this soft effect that I really wanted. Everything just mixed really well. My skin is glowing. Um, my eyes are popping. Everything just worked out for this look and I'm really, really, really happy about it because y'all know I am still trying to grow in my cut crease, but I think today I finally did well. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you give this tutorial a try, even though we're gonna be spending Valentine's Day possibly indoors. It doesn't mean you can't look cute. And even if you're spending it alone like myself, it does not mean you cannot beat your face and treat yourself to some uh, Grubhub or something. But anyway, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you all in the next one. If you have not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications, and I'll see you guys later. Stay safe.